Morning all. Bit of a um, wet and windy start to the day, so I thought I'd um, get to packing the bike up for the next um, next trip. Going to be rolling on the 2019 S-Works Venge. Uh, give you a quick run through. So um, basically down the front, running obviously the Durace Di2 all around. Uh, mid compact chain ring and a 34 tooth inner ring. I know Shimano say not to use that combination, but it sh shifts perfectly up and down through the gears. Um, being um, running with the TT in synchro shift, it means I can't cross it up, so um, I keep the chain tension right the way through the gear range. So, um, if uh, just a thing to note, if you are looking to run the 34, um, inner on a mid compact, um, cross training is going to cause you a bit of issues potentially, but um, I won't be affected by that. Down the back, um, uh, 1130 cassette, again the 30 tooth with the um, 34 front chain ring. Um, on this next ride, it's about uh, 30,000 metres of elevation, so um, yeah, that combination is definitely going to help me get over those pinchy climbs. Uh, the gears, dual race DI2, ceramic speed oversized jockey wheel. Um, they say five watt saving in the jockey wheel, which is perfect because um, it offsets the running resistance of about five watts of the Sondona hub. So basically that cancels out. I don't have to worry about um, charging my gear at night, and batteries going flat and the likes. Again, up the front, the Zip Vokka front end. Um, I've been doing some work on this and made some few mods over the last few weeks. I have posted up some of the things we've been doing, but um, the, how it's going to sit is I've double taped the bars, a bit more comfort. I'm just going to lay a bit of um, strapping tape over the top just to hold it all together so it doesn't move or come loose on the ride. The K light up the front. This is. Um, I've only had it for about uh, three weeks now, but it's um, it's a great light. 1200 lumens. It's a low, ultra low speed light built for bike packing. You see, you hardly need the wheel moving for it to start to work. 1200 lumens. It's bright. Um, I've got a light switch, so you can turn it off. Um, it's got a capacitor bank, so you can see in the off position. Um, it maintains light. I've been riding for about an hour, so um, if you need light to set up camp, um, it does a great job. Um, if you are looking, you know, don't want it to be um, lit up at night, obviously if you're riding during the day, turn it off and it'll be flat by the night, so it won't uh, annoy you. The GoPro 10, um, got it mounted up. The mount's a little bit bulky. Um, I'd like to chop this lug off, but it's positioned out of my way. Um, gives me a bit of flexibility to move it and mount it in different places on the ride. Um, so it's perfect. I bought the waterproof external charge cable um, panel for the side, so that's just replaceable. It means I can run the cable around and into my charge station and keep that charge. So again, the biggest issue with GoPros has been, or any cameras have been going flat. Um, but this way it's charged all of the time, so um, perfect. Again, just a little, the Garmin, um, all the cabling for the bike um, from the Dyna Hub around up into my frame bag. In the frame bag, in sorry, my top tube bag. Um, that's the power regulator from the hub to two protected USB outlets, um, one for the front light and one I run to um, my USB battery bank and then from there I just charge up whatever I need during the day. I'll also chuck other cables, a little bit of nutrition in there, just easy access during the day. Um, my phone if I want. The light switch for the headlight and the capacitor for the K light. Again, um, this bag, I've, I was going to custom make something, but I came across this Elizine bag. 
None of the straps worked, but it was a perfect fit. Uh, so cut all the straps off, wood, needle and thread, and um, sewed them on. So just a strap around the um, stem, uh, lined up Velcro to um, come straight through the TT mounts and around and just sewed them on where I needed them. Um, it's come up perfect, nice and stable, fits in there neat and it's perfect size for all my electronics. So pretty happy with how that's come up. Again, DI2 shifters, um, great for when you're in that position. Um, you can sit there, you don't have to break that position to change gears or anything. Um, I've lifted the TT bars a lot higher than my standard riding position, like on my TT bike on the Shiv. Um, so for this ride, I used to run at about 12 mil, but we put another um, 20 mil in there. So lifted it up, laid it back a little bit more. Um, it just makes it a bit more comfortable and keeps that pressure off my neck. On top of the uh, top tube, the Garmin con remote controller, great little spot for it. Nice and easy to control it. Don't have to worry about trying to fiddle with the camera. Um, easy to get it on and off, just Velcro strap. Um, it's rechargeable, um, but I found after it's charged, I can do three or four days and I'm still at like 60, 70% battery. So um, it's perfect. Um, the Epidura full frame bag. Um, so I run in here everything that I frequently access um, during the ride. Um, up the back, I'm running, because I'm bikepacking, carrying a little bit more gear this trip, um, I've gone for the Autolite 14 litre waterproof seat bag. And basically in the back there, I put some bulky items, my clothes, winter riding gear, um, things I don't need except for at night. Um, so just trying to limit what you need to get in and out of there during the day. Been playing with some seats, so I'm going to take um, this Infinity saddle for this ride. Um, it's a pretty wild looking saddle, but it's pretty comfortable. So, because um, I'm riding the TT position, uh, I'm basically sitting on my pelvis, not on my sit bones. So, I wanted this area to be flat. The saddle's still a little bit hard right on the tip, I sit quite far forward, um, but um, definitely takes that pressure off. Um, being rotated down. If you're riding conventional, you'd lift that up and it's, it's quite a comfy seat. I normally ride, obviously, the power saddle or the mirror, um, but I'm just gonna take this one for a trial. Zero degree seat post. Um, down the back, CLX 64. I'll have secondary light here, main rear light up here and a reflector. Um, that secondary light, I'm just running a Specialized Sticks. It's a dual um, front and rear light, so it just gives me the flexibility if I have an issue with the front end. Um, with the main light, I can just bring it on. It just straps around the brake lever here. Um, not ideal for long hours at night. Um, only lasts um, one and a half, two hours on a medium to high beam, so um, it doesn't last that long, and um, I don't particularly like the flashing light, so it's not something you can run with long periods of time, but it'll definitely get you out of trouble. So that's basically the um, setup, uh, the specialized power meters, S-Works cranks, um, the frame, I'm using Stifler frame protection tape, just to stop any rubbing uh, from the straps build up a grime on the ride um, after I finish the ride you can change it um, I've had this on now for over a year um, still have access down the back there to my charge point to my DI2 um, yeah so quite a functional setup as a gear I've kind of separated it into the seat bag and into my frame bag um, just so you kind of get an idea what I've got where. Start off basically winter riding gear, so arm warmers, leg warmers, full finger gloves, beanie, um, jacket, wind jacket, day kit, just a set of bib necks and summer riding jersey. 
two pairs of socks, just the shorts here during the day, and these um, reflective stripped specialised um, socks, quite comfy socks. Um, I find them they're the best reflective socks that I've come across so far. Uh, summer um, gear for just riding during the day. Obviously, I wear the helmet, uh, the hat underneath my helmet, stop my head getting burnt. Uh, sun arm protectors, gloves, heart rate strap. Uh, set of lightweight um, cargo pants from Kathmandu, and just a pair of shorts and a t shirt. My infamous uh, shoe socks. Um, real fashion statement, I know they, they uh, don't look great, but they do an awesome job, fold down to about the size of a sandwich, um, so nice and light and easy to use, instead of this works. Um, shoes, blue cleats, just like that mid tightness of the blue cleats, um, doesn't lock my feet right in, but still has a bit of movement, so you can move around and keep the pressure out of areas. Uh, just a day bag just to put anything wet or um, also doubles at night I can chuck a bit of my winter riding gear into it and use it as a pillow and this is my sleeping kit this is um, a great little kit so the sole bivy and um, the you know, inflatable mattress it's got a little pump airbag pump in there for it as well all up, I don't know, 350 odd grams, um, does a great job. A couple of spare tubes, always come in handy. So that's basically everything that I'll run in the rear seat bag. Obviously, while I'm riding, the gear's out of there and my day kit's in and then swap over. So it um, kind of balances out and, and fits in there well. If I was racing, um, you know, I really just take a pair of um, shorts and a t-shirt and that's um, about it and that's only just in case I wanted to go somewhere at night to get something to eat and wanted to get out of the kit but you're mostly in the kit so you don't really need a, another set of clothes. In my frame bag, bare essentials, pump um, in here, a couple of tubes, multi-tool, tie levers, Punch repair kit, so just a handy little bag just to get access to what you need during the day um, for flat tyres. Sun case kit in here is my chain oil and um, the ceramic speed jockey wheel oil and a couple of rags. Uh, all my cables for the DI2 charger, um, some bits and pieces. The Garmin InReach GPS tracker and messenger, a great little unit. Tiny, lightweight, it'll just go up into the um, top tube bag. Bike lock, um, again, nice, compact, lightweight. Just if you need to lock it up somewhere while you're having a sleep during the day or at night. Uh, 200 milliamp hour USB battery. Couple of spare bags to put bits and pieces into, some COs. Uh, Multi-tool knife kit, just pliers and the likes just to get you out of strife, knife comes in handy. Um, new little setup for my torque wrench. It's a great little torque wrench. So it's two to ten newton meters, small, lightweight. Um, I've given it a test on a fair bit of my gear now um, and it works fine. Um, about the the recommended tension for the um, seats, 15 newton meters, so it's a little bit under that, but um, it's fine. I've, I've uh, been running with it at 10 newton meters, just um, using this, and um, I haven't got any movement, so it's fine. A couple of extension tips, all the bits I need for my bike setup. So um, again, nice, small, compact, lightweight. That's what we're looking for. Over here, um, little flat boy puncture repair kit, stand puncture repair kit, keep you out of trouble. Rear derailleur hanger, some spare batteries, power meter, chain link, and spoke tool. 
um, gets you out of trouble. Nutrition, got some Neurotrain caffeinated 100 calorie gels to get me going. These are great gels, love them. 1.8 litre um, hydration bag. Just run that out through the top, um, near the top tube. Just makes it nice and simple. Some sunnies, toothbrush, toothpaste, rear light, the sticks, dual front rear light mount, a um, couple of chargers, sunscreen, saddle cream, you know, Panadol, bits and pieces. Um, obviously I chuck in them some extra drinks, some Powerade and some muesli bars or the likes, but that's basically all I need to get cracking um, on this ride. So yeah, looking at probably um, two and a half to three and a half thousand Ks on this ride, uh, depending on, on where we end up going, but um, should be good fun. Anyway, I'll um, post up some videos along the way um, and hopefully she's a good ride. Cheers. Well, we're all packed up, ready to roll. Um, Going to take it around the bike shop uh, later on, box it up, ready to go on the plane. Just thought I'd show you the um, how it looks at the end. So everything in the frame bag, seat bag. Um, I haven't tightened this right up. It'll compress down a little bit smaller. Um, over here, I'll just travel in my night kit. Um, use the day bag, just chuck the shoes and gloves and helmet and bits and pieces in to travel with. Um, and a nice lightweight towel, just if you need to have a quick wash down somewhere along the way or if it's been raining and you want to dry off a bit before you go get a feed. Anyway, looking forward to the roll. I'll um, see you on the road.